Okay, now we're going to finish up section 5.2. And first I want to show you the, the final answer to number 6, which is what the whole last part was about. And so we figured out what our A, B, and C were, and we plugged them back in to the coefficient positions of our quadratic function. So this would be your final answer. No sentence on this one, because this time we were looking for a function. Okay, now 7 and 8 are set up but do not solve. Now, don't get too excited, because on your take-home quiz, you have to solve two problems like this, but we're just going to set them up together. So, number 7. A basketball player scored 28 points in a game. The number of three-point field goals the player made was 22 less than three times blah, 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 blah. Find the number of free throws, two-point field goals, and three-point field goals that the player made. Okay, so the first thing we want to identify is what it is that we're looking for. If you read all this, you're just going to get confused. So find the number of. That's important. Okay, so I'm going to start by defining my variables. I'm going to let x equal number of free throws. Okay. Then I'm going to let y equal the number of two-pointers, two-point field goals. Okay, those are regular baskets. Then I'm going to let z equal the number of three-point baskets, or field goals as they're called. We call them baskets, though. Okay, notice you have to say the number of... Oops, hang on, someone's calling me. Okay, sorry about that, I am back. And now, so we have defined our variables, and remember what was important here was that we said we're looking for the number of each types of these baskets and not about their point values, because that's going to come into play in a moment. Okay, now next to this, I'm going to write my three equations. So now is the time to read through this problem very carefully. Okay, so a basketball player scored 28 points in a game. There's my first equation right there. If the basketball player scored 28 points through a combination of these three types of baskets, then he scored one point for every free throw plus two points for every two-point field goal plus three points for every three-point field goal, and that all adds up to 28 points. Okay? That was easy, right? Okay, now let's keep reading. The number of three-point field goals, that's Z, the player made was 22 less, I'm subtracting 22 from something, than three times the number of free throws. Three times the number of free throws. So the number of three-pointers that were made is 22 less than three times the number of free throws. That's what that equation says. Let's read the next sentence twice the number of two-point field goals, twice the y, 2y. The player made was 12 more, I'm going to add 12, than the number of three-point field goals. Three points is, are the z's. Find the number of blah, blah, blah. There they are. There's your three equations. So on your take-home quiz, you're going to have to actually solve this system. Okay, now. Let's do number eight. Set up, but do not solve again. But remember, on your quiz and on the test, you're going to have to solve at least one of these. A vendor sells hot dogs, bags of potato chips, and soft drinks. This one always makes me hungry. Okay. A customer buys two hot dogs, four bags of potato chips, blah, blah, blah. Okay, let's get to what are we looking for? Blah, 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 blah. Find the cost of each item. Find the cost. Okay. So, find the cost. So, what items do we have? We have hot dogs. So, I'm going to let H equal cost of a hot dog. Cost. You have to put cost. If you confuse it and put the number of hot dogs in there, uh, I'm going to have to take some points away. Okay. What's the next item? Bag of potato chips. I'll use B for bag. B equals the cost of a bag of chips. Okay. And last, soft drinks. S equals the cost of A, we'll call them a soda. We're in California, 
so we call them sodas. Okay, now let's write our equations. Okay, let's read carefully this time. A customer buys two hot dogs, four bags of potato chips, and five soft drinks for $13.50. Okay, so what would his receipt look like? It would look like two times the cost of a hot dog, plus four times the cost of a bag of potato chips, plus five times the cost of a soda, and that would total to $13.50. That's my first equation. The price of a hot dog, that would be H, is equals 75 cents more than the price of a bag of potato chips. So that'd be B plus 0.75, bag of potato chips, okay? The cost of a soft drink, S, is $1.50 less, I'm subtracting $1.50, from the price of two hot dogs. And there it is. There is your system that now you guys get the pleasure of solving on your take-home quiz. And that's section 5.2.